But that's my go-to uh, move is to go to the LinkedIn experiences tab for our guests and see what you've done. In your case, though, this is kind of an embarrassment of riches, honestly, Jeff. So you've served uh, in CISO or VP information security functions for everyone from GE Capital to AIG to Citibank. You serve on the advisory board of several high-end curriculum development groups, as well as your research with uh, IANS. And all of this is before we even talk about the CISO of Connecticut part. So uh, my question is, where do you find the time? Or more plainly, like, what's your time management strategy? I mean, it sounds like you've had so many different things going on. How are you able to kind of keep all of them uh, engaging and exciting and, and, and sort of give yourself to everything without losing part of yourself? Boy, do I, I wish more people would ask a question like that. First of all, thank you for doing the homework. But uh, mm -hmm. second of all, uh, you know, time management is something that I've actually spent a lot of time on, especially uh, there's a book I wrote called Leading the Digital Workforce. Uh, mm -hmm. and it talks about peak performance IT management um, and, and not just security, but IT in general. And it's like we have a really tough job in IT because things change so much on us and there's so many moving parts and complexity. Um, but when I when I think about time management specifically, we all get 24 hours. Time is the great equalizer. I mean, that's something yeah. that, you know, whether you're a billionaire or whether you're just making $20 an hour, everybody gets 24 hours a day and you can do with it what you like. Mm -hmm. um, people overestimate what they can get done in a year, but they underestimate what they could get done in three years or in five years. Um, you know, and they, they, they just don't really look at things the right way. Um, one of the things is just understanding what some of your goals actually are. So I, I'll give you an example. I have sort of a process. I, I always have three for the year, three big ones for the year, three big goals. Um, then I have three for the month. Then I have three for the week. Then I have three for today. Like, what are your big three? And I'm starting to learn even, even now, even this late in the game, that it's like, well, what's the number one? Like, if you're going to get through today and call it a win, what's the one thing that has to be done by the end of the day? And make sure you're working on that stuff. And, and you, you really can't. You really can't trust your brain on this kind of stuff because you get you open up email, you get sucked into things like incidents mm -hmm. can happen. All kinds of stuff can get you distracted. Um, so having some sort of system where, you know, every time I get up out of my desk, I have an idea of like, this is what you were working on. Here's where we left off. And now I can come back and it doesn't take me 20 minutes to just reorient myself. I know exactly where I was and I can pick up right where I was. Um, when, when we talk about things, cause I mean, on top of this, I've been writing books and stuff too, right. Um, you know, and, and, uh, there's a couple ways to do that. One, one with the communication book that I wrote, uh, it was cramming and it was, you know, it felt like I was working a day job and then I would cram all weekend and try to catch up with writing, catch up in quotes. Right. Um, what, what I learned was that it's not a great way to do things, but what is a great way to do things is just right for like even half an hour a day, every day. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and whether it's quality or not, you showed up, you did the work. Now you have a process and, you know, you'd be surprised at how much you can get done just doing like even 30 minutes a day, every day, even 10 minutes, show up for five minutes, mm -hmm. um, just write anything and, and, and keep things moving. And that, that applies to whether you're studying for an exam or a certification, um, no matter what you're doing. Doing, no matter what goals that you're uh, that, that you're following, make sure that you have a process. So, you know, sleep in your gym shorts so that you're ready to go work out in the morning. You know, yeah. stuff to just make it easy. Remove the friction. Right. Um, you know, that way you don't have to kind of talk yourself into it. People have to... Mm -hmm. People say, like, where do you get motivation or how do you get motivation to do things? I, I don't. I try to just facilitate processes that make it easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so much easier to, I mean, it's, you know, it's the law of entropy. It's easier to keep something in motion than it is to like push it into motion uh, endlessly like that, you know? Like once it's once it's already moving, you just keep it moving. And uh, Absolutely. I, yeah, my, my wife's a, a writer as well. And she analogizes, she has that, that same thing about a couple minutes every day, but she analogizes it to like turning on like a bathtub, like the water's cold for a while and you feel like, oh, this is never going to get warm. But like, if you just turn it off and forget about it for a week, like next time you turn it on, it's going to be cold again. But if you just let it go every single day, you're going to have a warm bath soon enough and it's going to feel more natural and whatever. So I don't know. That's a little, a little abstract perhaps, but, uh, but yeah, no, it's absolutely true. And, you know, as someone who's working on a, a cert study right now, I think you really do have to keep in mind that it's better to do 15 minutes a day than, three hours every two weeks or whatever. <laughs> exactly. And, and also eliminate distractions. I mean, we all have our, uh, 
our, our kryptonite, right? Whether it's yeah. uh, you're watching YouTube oh, videos yeah. or Netflix or, or stuff like that. The it's whole like, world's a rabbit hole these days. Yeah, oh, it's, <laughs> it's just like, a series and, of and rabbit holes. Our attention span is is pulled in so many different directions. So, I mean, like mm -hmm. you know, when I do writing as an example, I, I have notifications off. I, I put the phone away. I sometimes I even revert to pencil and paper, mm -hmm. uh, just because it's distraction free. I can really focus on on one thing. And you'd be amazed that like if you just even take an hour of dedicated time, no distractions you would be amazed at how much progress you can make even in just an hour. Have you seen Work Bites, the new security awareness training series from InfoSec? Our team produced this series with three E's in mind, making security awareness training entertaining, engaging, and educational. Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to learn more about this hilarious office comedy. And hey, let us know what you think about it.